guys so today i'll be taking you through how to interpret nutrition label or nutrition facts of a product ever wonder what folks are staring at when they are in a grocery store and reading the nutrition fact label on a can of juice or even a loaf of bread are you unsure what it all means when you look at a food label nutrition labels can be a great tool for managing a heart healthy diet which makes it very important that you understand what you are reading when looking at a nutrition label now let's take a look at the parts of a nutrition label and break it all down one first take a look at the number of servings in the package and the serving size two calories provide a measure of how much energy you get from a serving of this food in this label there are 230 calories in one serving remember the amount of servings you consume determines the number of calories you actually eat percentage daily value is the amount a nutrient contributes to a diet based on a 2000 calorie diet so now let's look at three total fat this is the amount of bad that's the saturated and good unsaturated fat in just a serving four cholesterol this is the amount of cholesterol in a serving of your product six this is the amount of total carbohydrates in the product which consists of dietary fiber and total sugars with this you'll be able to determine the amount of added sugar or natural sugar in that product There are some items such as fruits, vegetables and some cuts of meat that do not contain nutrition labels. For items that do have a nutrition label, comparing nutrition information can help you make healthy choices. First, look at the ingredient list. Ingredients are listed in order by weight from the most to the least. So aim for products that contain nutritious ingredients at the top of the list. Next, look at the nutrition fat table. For further information, start by finding the serving size listed underneath the other nutrition facts. All of the nutrition information is based on the serving size. Is this the amount you are eating or are you eating more or less? If you double the serving size amount, you will have to multiply everything by 2 as information for the 13 core nutrients listed below is based on the serving size listed. The percent daily value on the right hand side of the table tells you if there is a little bit or a lot of each of the core nutrients. 5% or less is considered a little bit while 15% or more is considered a lot of a nutrient. Be sure to choose packaged food that has more of the nutrients you want such as calcium and fiber and less of the nutrients you don't want such as saturated fat and sodium finally be careful when reading nutrition claims for example a product that claims to be high in fiber or low in sodium may contain high amounts of fat did you know there are different names for sugar on nutrition labels look for words ending in OSE such as sucrose, dextrose, glucose, fructose, lactose or maltose. Other words also mean sugar in the products are sh cane nectar syrup. Okay, so now let's start with this. Okay, now, now this is sprinkle. So when you look at this, you see that this is the nutrition label for this. So now for someone that is hypertensive. So for diabetic patients, for products like this, you always look out for um, the nutrition label like I talked about. So for a 50 or Coca-Cola bottle here, yeah, we have almost 7 grams, 7 point, which is a whole lot for um, a patient that is diabetic. So please, always try to read nutrition labels 
it's very important before taking in any product. So I'll be going around and picking some uh, samples of some products and I'll be showing you how I'll be showing you different nutrition levels for different products on a random. So follow me. For more nutrition content, please kindly subscribe, like and share this video. Thanks for watching.